All right, that's a tuck back to follow right there. That was really good. Uh, so September 12th, 2010, which is uh, almost five years to the day, I decide to go downtown and see a friend play music, which isn't really normal for me. I don't really go out a whole lot, so I was kind of already outside of my, uh, my norm. Uh, so I park my truck downtown, and I get out of my truck, and I'm looking around, and I'm just, the first thing that pops in my head is, when in the hell did Anchorage become Vegas? Because it was Las Vegas downtown. There was, you know, chicks in short skirts, and guys wide around trying to impress them, and people, like, with open containers of alcohol, who knows where they got that from, you know? And uh, so I'm like, all right, crazy. Walk to the venue. Get inside, and the scene's kind of the same thing, you know, crazy, 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 so... I don't last very long, as this is not really something I'm into, so I think I had like two beers, decided it's time to go, and um, I usually practice the art of the Irish goodbye, which if you don't know what that is, that's when you leave without telling anybody. <laughs> so, so I did that, I made my way out to the street, and uh, nothing had changed in my two beer time, and I make it out there, and it is just still insane, Las Vegas. So I start walking west. Um, in between my truck and where I had started was the former Anchorage Gemma Bavar Rum Runners Old Time Bar and Grill. Uh, if you don't know what that is, Rum Runners has been shut down pretty recently for some shady uh, things that they were into. Um, so I have to walk by there to get back to my truck. So in between that time, I'm walking west and I see a couple people getting in a fight up ahead, which I don't really think much of because there's literally thousands of people in the street. Of course, there's going to be somebody fighting, you know. And I'm kind of joking around, I pass somebody on the street, and I'm like, oh, look at these idiots, somebody probably stepped on somebody's uh, shoes inside the club, and they, so they had to take it outside, <laughs> and you know, whatever. So I keep walking, la la la, all of a sudden I hear, pop, 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 and I saw the muzzle flash. And I didn't, like, I was so totally calm, and I took my left hand and touched my right shoulder, and there was, like, clear fluid. None of this made any sense to me. But I remember the first thing I thought, I should get out of the way. <laughs> so I do that. I step a couple feet to the right, and I get behind a car, and then it figuratively hits me, I have been shot, because it already literally hit me that I had been shot. <laughs> so I am usually the person in kind of an emergency situation that sort of takes the reins and keeps their calm. This did not happen this day. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you have been in shock before. I had never been in shock before, but I handled it. Not very well. Um, I, you, can, you can imagine that I'm saying the four full letter, four letter word as I'm reenacting this, but it was something like, F! I've been shot! <laughs> something pretty close to that. So uh, little did I know, there was an APD officer right outside the club, and he had seen these two people getting into a fight. So he had hopped out of his car. So right there, like four or five feet away, an APD officer tackles this guy, who I had no clue who this guy was, but tackles this guy right in front of me, which I'm sure distracted me from my freaking out for a minute. But as soon as he hauled him off, I went right back to it, you know. <laughs> ah! um, I had dropped to my knees, and I was all covered in blood, and I'm sure it was really dramatic, and, you know, two hours or 20 seconds or something go by, and <laughs> somebody I don't know, some random guy, who hopefully is in this audience, I don't know, uh, came up to me and he gets right in my face and he goes, hey, you're going to be okay. And I went from, ah, to like, zoop, right back in my head. I swear, it was just like that. And I went, thanks, man. <laughs> exactly like that. And then I said, how do I look? And he's like, oh, you, you know, you look good. Let me look. Yeah, you look good. We're kind of like bantering for a second. And, uh, and he... He, hey, this chick got shot. So he, you know, flags down an officer or whatever. And again, there's thousands of people in the street, and nobody had seen me up until this guy. Uh, so APD officer comes, comes over, and they start chatting, and nobody's paying attention to me. And I kind of start freaking out again. And then they're like, calm down, you're going to be just fine. I'm like, oh, that's right. You already told me that. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, APD officer gets me an uh, ambulance just for me, and I get in the ambulance. And I'm thinking, like, man, how unfortunate is it that I am, have, like, these three hot firemen over me, and I look like total hell, you know? They got, like, blood and tears and freaking out, you know? So, anyway, I go into the hospital, and they're really frantic, and I was kind of cool at that point. And uh, they're trying to get an IV in me, and they try a couple times, they're not really making it. And I'm like, hey, man, can you stop that, please? And he goes, 
your blood pressure's really low, though. And I was like, dude, my blood pressure is always low, bro. I am good. So they're like, all right, cool. She's going to be all right. So we get to the hospital and, uh, you know, the ER or whatever I'm in, I'm probably ER. I get in there and everybody's frantic again because, you know, this chick just got shot, right? So I get in there and uh, they say, Shauna, we're going to cut your dress off. And I said, the hell you are. This is vintage. (laughs) So they take the dress off, back to business. Shauna, have you ever had a tetanus shot? And I was like, I don't really know, like, where you would have gotten a tetanus shot at. And and she says, well, did you ever go to school? And I was like, school of hard knocks. (laughs) Which at that point, everybody in the room kind of realized it was going to be fine. Turns out, school of hard knocks doesn't require a tetanus shot, so they gave me one. Uh, So I was shot right above my right clavicle, uh, and not life-threatening. I learned in court when I went to go testify against the shooter um, that this little gangster shooting was due to a Mountain View Fairview thing, which I thought was really funny because these people, these kids were like 19 and 20, 21 probably, and they lived with their parents. And I'm like, what happens when your mom moves? Is it going to be like an Ocean View turnigan thing then? Like, I don't really know how that works. So, so I go out to dinner with a good friend that night uh, to a restaurant that I frequent quite a bit. So like some of the staff kind of recognizes me and the server comes up and he goes, hey, you work at Spinard Roadhouse, right? And I said, yeah. And he goes, did you hear what happened to Shauna? <laughs> the end.